Before the first man left the bonds of Earth, outer space belonged to the animal kingdom. The first animals in space were fruit flies, launched there by the United States in a captured Nazi V-2 rocket in 1947. Two years later, the first of the legendary space monkeys to make it to the heavens was a rhesus monkey named Albert II. The original Albert died on an earlier mission, and they just named this one Albert II. Great job, guys. In the early 1950s, the Soviets got in on the extraterrestrial animal game by launching stray dogs into space, with Laika becoming the first living being in orbit. By the way, the Russians had not yet developed the technology to return crafts from orbit, so... In the decades since, we've had Chinese space turtles, French space cats, and Iranian space worms. But today, let us speak of the most legendary animal astronaut, Space Bat. Cape Canaveral, Florida, March 15th, 2009. NASA is counting down to launch the Space Shuttle Discovery with a mission of delivering materials to the International Space Station. As the ground crew and flight control go through pre-launch checklists, the crew of eight aboard the Discovery do the same, including Japanese astronaut Kochi Wakata. Then, someone notices something on the external fuel tank. Is that a bat? It was. A small, free-tailed bat was clinging to the tank. Was it frozen there? No, despite the fact that it contained super cold liquid oxygen and hydrogen, infrared readings indicated that that section of the tank never dipped below 58 degrees Fahrenheit. A more obvious indicator that he was alive? He occasionally moved. Not without effort, though. He kept his left wing in, prompting wildlife experts to theorize that it was broken. Or maybe he was just hiding something. How did it get there? Turns out that Cape Canaveral is located inside the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Normally, the wildlife does not pose a problem. Normally. This wasn't the first time that a bat had attempted to hitch a ride aboard a shuttle. The Space Shuttle Endeavour also had a stowaway in 1996, though this one flew away shortly before takeoff. Also aboard that mission, Kuchi Wakata. NASA's final inspection team was brought in to assess the risk. Yeah, we assessed Interim Problem Report 119V-0080 and determined it doesn't really pose much of a debris risk, so uh, we're putting in a waiver to officially accept the stowaway. <laughs> Still, I'd, I'd hate to be that little guy when this thing takes off. Yeesh. And take off, it did, with the small bat attached. The creature could be seen as the rocket boosters fired and flames engulfed the launch pad. It quite certainly perished as the craft took off and climbed towards orbit. But what if it didn't? Maybe, just maybe. class, that was Space Bat, the first in a new series I'm calling Just Maybe, in which we explore a topic and what happened and also what just maybe might have happened. If you'd like to suggest a topic, leave a comment down below. Also, a special thanks to Sammy Jerush of US 101 for clearing Space Bat as an approved stowaway on this mission. You can check out his companion video to this one, The $30 Million Space Sandwich, right over here. And if you like this video, hit the button that lets me know leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot to learn and we're going to learn it together. Be safe and I'll see you next time.